Hi everyone. Today we're going to be discussing enzymes and activation energy. We're going to go through the features of enzymes and just what effect they have on the activation energy and on a chemical reaction. So let's get started. Firstly, you should know that enzymes are biological catalysts. What this means is that they increase the rate of certain chemical reactions. Now they do this by decreasing the activation energy. So by decreasing the activation energy, which we're going to discuss in a second, they're able to speed up these reactions. So what exactly is activation energy? As you can see from the graph on our right, the activation energy is the energy that's required to push the reactants over an energy barrier. So that arrow that's labeled EA, which stands for the energy of activation, that amount of energy must be reached in order for the reactants to go over the energy barrier and successfully complete a reaction. Another important stage to know is the transition state. This is when uh, the molecule is at the highest energy state and also when the molecule uh, is at its most unstable point. So what exactly do enzymes do to the reaction that helps with the activation energy? Essentially what enzymes do is decrease the activation energy. They're able to decrease the range that's required, the range of energy that's required uh, in order to allow for the reaction to become much faster. So if you look to our right on the graph, the green arrow shows what the original activation energy was. That shows us the energy that was initially required uh, for the reaction to be successful without an enzyme. However, if we do end up using an enzyme, that new arrow shows us the activation energy that's required. So as you could see, it's dramatically reduced. And that's the main goal of an enzyme is to speed up a reaction and they do this by decreasing the activation energy that's required. So what are some features of enzymes? Enzymes are incredibly useful and uh, have a lot of features and benefits to them. Firstly, as we discussed, they speed up reactions and they do this by decreasing the activation energy like we said. Secondly, enzymes themselves are not actually consumed by the reaction. The amount of enzymes that you begin with will always be the same as when you end. They're there simply to speed up the reaction. They're not actually being used up by the reaction. Third, enzymes work in both directions, meaning that they can work for both a forward and a reverse reaction, depending on uh, what you're trying to achieve with your reaction. Lastly, enzymes catalyze specific reactions. Uh, this is opposed to chemical catalysts, which can generally be used on most reactions. Enzymes are a bit more specific in what they bind to, and that affects what reactions they can be used on. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them below in the comments. I'll be sure to get back to you soon. Um, please be sure to like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.